Welcome to At A Glance, the series where I go over a game I just had, talk about my thought process, what I think I did right, what I think I did wrong, which I did a lot of things wrong, but I did do some things right. Those are the important parts, because I need positivity in my fucking life. Anyway, first of all, I would like to say, I would just like to say, I'd like to make this perfectly clear. Yes, I have gold mercy staff. I'm not a mercy main. I'm not a support main. I'm not a support player. I got the gold mercy staff. Because for the longest time, from when I started playing Overwatch, all the way to, like, this last week, honestly, uh, I could not play Mercy. Couldn't. Couldn't fucking play her. Couldn't touch her. Couldn't do anything. And then I picked her up recently, and I've been getting a lot of value out of her. Because my mother is a Mercy main. Which, uh, I would just like to give a quick shout out to Lil Miss Toast for, uh, being... 90% of my resources for learning Mercy, so, uh, if you want to, if you want to see how Mercy's supposed to be played, you, uh, you go tell Toast that I sent you. But, uh, yeah, I decided to play Mercy, because I was feeling it, and also because we have JQ and Cast, so that's not a bad comp to have Mercy in, and the Junkrat's just a bonus on top of that. So, uh, I'm just destroying all the shit in here, because, uh, fun fact, if you destroy all the shit in uh in spawn before the game starts you get nothing I, I thought that was a pretty i thought that was a pretty fun fact little, little nice little surprise from the devs that nothing happens and you destroy everything so i'm trying to think who i'm gonna boost first probably the rat because rat's just gonna spam fire i see they have an ash so i'm immediately going to the side where this ash can't get the shot on me i see junk go up i'm trying to keep everyone topped off as we're starting to push up i go to boost this junk so we can do something I see they have the Widow. I hear the calls that there's a Widow, so I'm gonna hug this wall right here so that I don't just melt. Cass gets purpled. I'm staying on him so that when the purple comes off, he's immediately topped off and, you know, ready to go. Start boosting him so he's, you know, got the damage going. Try to keep Moira alive so that I'm not the only one healing in this team. I don't know why I went for this res, but they didn't punish it. So fuck it. I try to help Cass over here. I do... Help as much as I can, and then he dies anyway. I go to help our Moira, and she lives. I try to pull out the pistol and do uh, do some blast of my own, really pressure them. I get some little taps on the Widow, not enough to, you know, force her away, but enough to, you know, worry her a little. I keep our JQ topped up up front, because she is taking, you know, the fight against the tank. Goes down. I boost off, I think it was junk, to get up here. And start, you know, pushing aggressively. I do heal up Junk, because, you know, it's Junk, he's pushing up. It means there's less resources for them to push to point. I pull out the pistol to try to get this Ash to maybe back up a little. And she does. So we get point pretty much uncontested. That shit went 0 to 100 right out of spawn, and just, we won it. So I stay attached to Junk, keep him topped up as much as I can. Try to help him win these fights here. Use him to get out. I'm trying... I know they have that Widow still. So, when I cro... I'm gonna pause really quick so I can actually talk. Because holy fuck, it has been non-fucking-stop the whole time. So, when I do these jumps, like, over on the side that I just did, I know they have the Widow. And I got the glitch again. Hold on. Fun fact, there's a glitch where if you're looking at the enemy team and you rewind, it'll default, the en like, the enemy team to your colors. Which is really fucking annoying. So, that's why I just had to do that. So yeah, keeping junk topped up. I go into the... I try to go into the tunnel here. I'm trying not to expose myself for too long. Hey, cat point. I'm trying to stay on junk as best I can. So yeah, when I... When I fly to junk, I'm trying to stay out of that lane as much as humanly possible. Especially because they have the Widow. Because the Widow is insta-kill potential. She can insta-kill me. And when... I am playing Mercy, when I'm playing any support really, but when I'm playing Mercy especially, I need to respect that she has insta-kill potential. I cannot, I don't have much room to fuck around. I know I fucked around earlier, but especially when it's a neutral and she's not distracted by anything, I cannot fuck around. I need to respect that she can insta-kill me. So you'll see me do it again here, where I use Junk as sort of a springboard to get through the lane. So, I launch off our Moira so I can come join the team. 
I see that everyone's sort of in a good position here. Fight's honestly ending as soon as I popped Valk. So I caught the littlest glimpse of the Widow here. And, you know, while I've got the Valk, may as well go for the duel. And now I just kind of... I'm keeping everyone topped up as much as I can. I'm helping with the Sigma. Try to get the punch on him, but Tracer steals my kill. So now I'm going to get pretty fucking aggressive here. I'm going to sit up here. Try to get some pot shots. It's the Ash. And unfortunately, she lands two really good shots on me. There's... I can't... That was entirely on me fucking up and losing the duel. I just did not respect that the Ash could take me out. So I'm coming to join the team again. RJQ. By the way, shout out to fucking Siggy for being one of the most considerate tanks I've ever played with. Siggy gives me the taxi so I can rejoin the team faster. I start boosting them so that, you know, they can do more damage and do things. I try to help them. I try to help them with that ult. I did call for them to use that ult. And they just won fight. There's nothing to it. They literally just won fight. It didn't matter if I was healing or damage boosting anyone. We already lost that. Me going after the Mercy was just my own bloodlust kicking in. That was just... That was all it was. So I did... I think I saw the fire go up there. I do not remember. I go to heal the Junkrat, because the Junkrat's peeking, but he's not dead. So, you know, free ult charge. Keeping everyone topped up. I sit on the Junk for longer than I should. Because, I will be completely honest, I forgot if Mercy Boost affects Tire. And it fucking doesn't. So that was me wasting a lot of time that could have been spent with the team. I see Siggy's low, so I go to heal Siggy. I see the Farah doing things. I get a few pot shots in. I go over here to try to help, and I just can't heal enough. I go for the res. My thought process was that I thought maybe this was a good res, because maybe they weren't looking at me. But, you know, when you actually look at how this fight was laid out, no, they were absolutely looking at me. Like, I was in this little crevice. Moira's the only one that's here. So, really, there was nothing. There was no reason for me to go for that res. I I take full responsibility for going for a bad res. And that's just end of fight. There's nothing we can fucking do at that point. So, yeah. I fucked up. I fucked up so fucking bad there. I immediately... Go to boost our Sojourn, because Sojourn's just a good target to have Mercy on. Because, you know, Sojourn. I'm waiting for the team. I'm being very patient. We have our full team. I try to keep our Diva topped up. This was probably the best movement I've done. Getting on the roof with Diva. I try to keep Diva up as much as I can. Because she's going to be taking the most damage here. But I am looking around, seeing who else is going to need me. I'm trying to, you know, just stay mobile, stay hard to find. I popped Valk. I forget the reason I popped Valk. I think, I think it may have been a panic ult. It may have entirely been a panic ult. So I go for the Sigma because I've got Valk going anyway. Yeah, I think I deadass just panicked and wanted to, you know, wanted to get that kill. So I res Tracer because fight's over. I use Tracer as a springboard to then not get up there. I just kind of sit on payload. I go to help Sojourn, but she gets out of my sight line, so I can't help her. I go for the jump again. I try to help with this Ash in ways that no one else is, being getting up there and doing damage. I'm just kind of helping clean up this weird fight, not fight thing. Yes, half of them are committing, half of them aren't. I see the Zen alone and uh, just win the support duel. I go to heal, so I get that little bit of Valk charge. I see our soldier up there, and I want to help him do things, because he's doing sneaky things. So I go over there, I go to boost him. Because I know, I know... Oh wait, that was Sojourn, never mind. So they saw me, they didn't see Sojourn. What I hate about this... What I hate about what's about to happen, is that it's not... It's not their soldier that kills me. It's the Moira orb that she threw into the room that got me as I was escaping. That shit fucking hurts. I had a good idea. They just threw a Moira orb. What are you gonna do? So now I'm trying to rejoin my team. I'm yelling at them to back up. Because they popped a Valk and there's nothing we can do about that. Just, I'm boosting right now to help 
maybe do things to help get... I was going to say to help get self-destruct, but... I go to help whoever's inside. I'm trying not to play the main lane. I'm trying to play cover, because again, I don't want to get insta -ed. I know they don't have insta right now, but... So I launch over to D.Va to try and not get bobbed. And I just help Siggy take this high ground. Because this high ground is insane to have control over. I just keep healing so I can get my Valk. There's no way I can out-heal that, so there's you know, not much I can do. I use Tracer to back out. And I'm just making sure we don't die. I'm just kind of keeping an eye on everyone, seeing what I can and can't do. I go to help make this coal worthwhile. That's why I popped the Valk. I see the Ash in here. I want her. I got her. I go to res our Moira, because having the other support's good. The other the Mercy gets the res. Nothing I could do. I couldn't stop it. I'm Mercy. Just keep everyone topped up. Do my thing. Don't over-aggress. Reaper's up there. I go to help him, because I'm pretty confident he's going to win that duel. And I'm, I'm just sort of pushing up with the team now. And sort of helping clean this up. To get some little shots on the soldier. I back the fuck out as soon as he pops ult. Because if I die, we're a little fucked. I heal everyone up because everyone just took a lot of damage from that ash. I try to be as unpredictable and zippy as possible in this weird ass fight. Get my pop shots in. I get caught in this flux, which is really fucking annoying. I'm the only one that got caught in that flux. Which hurts my soul. So the only support we have right now is Moira. Even though we have Tracer who can sort of self-sustain with recall. And Reaper who can self-sustain with damage. I'm on my way back. Everyone's starting to back up until I join them. Because, you know, we don't have our full resources. Reaper dies. Which is unfortunate. That bomb gets two, which opens up the whole fight for us. I go for the Reaper res, which is massive. No one stopped me. And yeah, that was scrappy as fuck. Which was a, I would say, a pretty good learning opportunity for me to work on, you know, just wildly picking targets and trying to be unpredictable with movement. Yeah, scrappy. That was, scrappy's the only fucking word I can really use. It was just a, it was a scrappy game. It was wild. It was vaguely unorganized. There weren't really team fights as much as like, weird trickles and 1v1s except when they won fight i guess and then they had time to organize but when we didn't give them that time to organize they felt scattered you know and uh yeah that's where i am right now at learning mercy like i said if you want to you want to learn how to do some uh some good mercy go fuck go fucking look at toast i'm literally everything i know about mercy right now is from toast in one way or another so uh yeah, if I ever have to go against Toast in a direct Mercy matchup, I am not confident in myself right now. But uh, give me like a month or so, and you know, maybe I'll challenge Toast for some shit. Maybe to a game with a full team. Maybe. And uh, yeah, peace.